इट एज कम इन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड अगर मुझे इसका वेरियंस निकालना है वो भी मैं एक सेकेंड में निकाल सकता हूँ I can do it in fraction of seconds. The reason I've done it, I'll just do it once again. I know it is for for the first time with you guys. It is very very simple. First of all, whatever data you have, you will take out the mean of that data. Okay, mean is very very simple. We've already learned. Then we want to see that how each value is from the average. Likewise, we always think that how far we are from the mean, which is very simple. I minus this a value, which is there in a one, from my mean. I did it for all the values. Yeah. Then, if you ever sum it, it will always be zero. Okay. And just to show you a demo, you can do it yourself also, but it would always be zero. Therefore, I did the square of this. So when I did the square of it, then I want to calculate variance. I sum it up and divide it by n minus one. Then I get the variance. If I want to calculate the standard deviation, then I have to take the square root of the variance. That's that's how I'll be able to calculate the standard deviation. So standard deviation. Now now just imagine when we earlier calculated range, we just looked at the first value and the last value. But in the standard deviation, don't you think we looked at each and every value from what is how far it is from the mean? Yeah. Have we left any value? No. So which is the best no. method of calculating variance? Standard deviation. Standard deviation. Standard deviation. Standard deviation. So earlier, when I asked you a question, when we did a lot of brainstorm and a lot of discussion, when I was asking you, that standard deviation is necessary. क्योंकि इससे पता चलता है कि मेरा प्रोसेस मीन से कितना दूर है हाउ फार आई एम फ्रॉम द मीन एंड द फादर इट इज फ्रॉम द मीन इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू प्रोडिक्ट इन द फ्यूचर सो दैट्स वाई स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन इज टू बी कैलकुलेट जस्ट रिमेंबर स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन इज टू बी डन वेन यू हैव कंसिडर मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी एज मीन when you consider measure of central tendency as median oh, then you don't take standard deviation then you take quartile so let's let's understand quartile also um look with uh, one question uh, just uh, not able to catch 8 by 9 how you got the variance 8 by 9 mm -hmm. yeah okay can someone Here can someone some, yeah can someone wants to answer this question this question uh, is that why did we did 8 by 9 anybody Uh, yeah. uh, right. Okay. I'm sorry. There's a lot of disturbance in the. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what we did is uh, the column A is a uh, you know data set. So two, four, three. These are data. So the first thing we did is we took a mean of it. So the mean uh, came out as B thirteen. That is three. Uh, then to find the variance, uh, we subtracted the mean from each and every uh, uh, data point. So, uh, so for B one, we uh, we did you know two minus three, so that gave us minus one, and so on and so forth. So uh, the problem with this is we cannot we cannot identify the uh, the variance uh, like uh, how it varies across the group because. Uh, the variance would always sum up to zero. So to overcome that, we squared the value of B. That will be our column C. So so that all the negative becomes you know like a plus, and so it, it, it the sum of the square of the variance. Uh, the sum of the, uh, the sum of the square of the difference between every data point and the average of it. That would come out to be eight, and then uh, we divided it by the total number of data points minus one to get the variance. And from there, to get the standard deviation, we simply square root. Uh, we simply uh, took a square root of it because what we had calculated is the uh, as variance is pretty much like the average. 
of the square of uh, well, the square of the difference between the mean and each and every data point. So we took an under root of it, a square root of it, and that gave us the standard deviation of 0.94. Is it is it clear to you now? Uh, eight divided by nine is very simple. Uh, mm -hmm. Eight is the sum of the values that we have calculated and uh, divided by nine because there were 10 values and the formula says uh, n minus one. So, so, so if uh, I just want to, uh, if it's okay with all of you, uh, if anybody wants to take a screen share, if you're working on lap, if you're watching this training on laptop, uh, if anybody wants to open Excel, uh, uh, he or she wants to do any random exercise, uh, so that he or she gets confident, uh, I'll be more than happy. It's up to you if anybody wants to take a practice. Because uh, this time I'm giving you an option, but when I will teach you the hypothesis test on Minitab, then it's very compulsory for uh, either one or two people, which I will do it on a rotational basis to do it on your systems. Uh, but that is, that is mandate because that's important. And this is also important, but this I believe that you can do. But if still, anybody feels that he or she wants to do it to understand it very well. Uh, I'll give you an opportunity. I can try that out. Sumar. Okay. So uh, Ratna, I'm just stopping my sh screen and uh, so that you can start. Just give me a second. Please go ahead. Okay, let me know once my screen is visible to you. Yes, your screen is visible to us. Uh, just the Excel or the whole thing? <laughs> uh, the Excel, I think, Excel is the one which I think we want okay. to look at. Okay. Cool, cool. Just, uh, so let me know, shall I put some random range of data points? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can just use a rand between, there's a, I think if you're not aware of this, rand between is a, is a concept, is a formula which you can uh, take the data on your own. So use is equal to rand between, it's a formula, it's for everybody, rand between, R, A, N, D, between, yeah, and give any range, 5, comma, 50, anything, whatever, yeah, bracket close, um, now drag it where you, wherever you want to. Use five or ten data point because you want to do it manually. Uh, sure, sure, okay. So, so this this technique would help you to uh, take data on your own. This okay. is a random data. Anytime you do it, you'll be able to take out fresh data. So now uh, she is going to uh, do a demonstration on calculating the standard deviation manually, not using the STDEV formula. Ratna, you will need to uh, first copy them and then paste them so that you you get yeah. the values rather than you know. Thanks, Ashwini. Changing every time. Paste values, yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, done, done. That's done. Okay, so should I just take the average with this formula? Can I? Am I allowed? Yeah, allowed? yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. That's okay. And Sarah, please help me with the other things which I'm, uh, which I'm supposed to find out. Um, standard deviation. We need to calculate the standard deviation step by step, like we did, without using the formula. Will, yeah. <laughs> okay. So standard deviation. I have to just find the mean and then yeah. Will please quickly repeat <laughs> these steps. You have to uh, subtract have to subtract each value, the mean each value from, from all the yeah. data points, okay. one by one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A one minus and just try and do the sum here. No, I guess this is wrong. I think it it is not come. You, right. Right, uh, you need to, we have to yeah you need to use a right. yeah, lock it so if you, right b1 just no no let me just click on b1 double click formula okay okay formula, okay and just click f4 
before a1 before a just bring your cursor before a and click on f4 f4 right yes now now just press enter and now drag it this 84 becomes logged i think it has not it has not worked i guess right it is not working right Okay, my license has been corrupted. I think my Excel is not working as well. Maybe there's there's some issue, right? Yeah, yeah. It says that the Excel has been interrupted. Maybe that is that is the reason. Okay, I'll just stop sharing, and maybe some of you can do that. Anybody else wants to do it? I'll I'll um, go some of it. Please go ahead, Anand. We can see it now, Anand. We can see it now. Yeah. So what I've done here is uh, taken twenty-seven data points. Okay. Uh, a random one uh, calculated the mean of okay the data. The, okay. The second column is uh, your your difference from the mean. Okay. So uh, once that is calculated, uh, taken the square of the difference. Okay. So okay. which is ninety seven minus ninety seven into ninety seven. Uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, I've taken a sum of uh, the square of the difference. For us to calculate the variance, huh? uh, so in all I have twenty-seven uh, data points. So basically, what it will mean is uh, my sum of the square of the difference divided by n minus one, uh, which is. Am I correct, Celia? Yes, yes. So my my variance uh, comes out to one seven seven zero two. Now we need to do the scale. Uh, guys, can I please request uh, those who are not uh, unless you have a query, please keep it on mute uh, because it's keeping distracting. Sorry. So I've, I've taken a square root of the variance, and uh, that would be my standard deviation. Great. So, uh, so uh, uh, thanks, Anand. Can you just quickly run pass through the uh, formulas now, to just to validate what we have calculated, please? Yeah. So this is the this is the pure data that we have. Yeah. Uh, the twenty seven data points. What I've done is I've taken an average, which is the mean of all the data points here. While no, not this average. I'm just saying uh, now. Please calculate variance and channel deviation with the help of the formula. Oh. Ah, okay. Just to validate. Just to validate. Yeah. right so so well done anand good job uh of calculating it and i'm sure now it is uh you know everybody has understood it now so if you right. pick any data uh you'd be able to calculate the variance and the standard deviation uh which would give you that how much kind of what kind of a variation that you have in the data okay so this yeah. data set if you if you and uh, can you just do me a favor please can you just calculate the range as well i'm asking for too much but uh, this would help the everybody because you have got a good data here so please calculate range also right so uh, you see that uh, you know there is a difference uh, when i when i both are doing the same purpose both is calculating the uh, how the uh, tightness of the data uh, is from the mean but range is not giving me a clear picture standard deviation is giving me a clear picture because it is considered each and every data points okay yeah. so th so thank you anand thank you so much uh, we really did a good job in understanding it and thanks thanks very much uh, thanks. please stop sharing yeah. and then i will i will resume Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. So uh, this is the last concept for the day that we will do today, uh, which is the 
Kotail. So let me quickly share my screen. Uh, 